Hey, it's Steve. I wanna start off with a quick reminder about making electronic music because this is simple stuff that is meant to be fun. The best tracks in the world are fun and they have a feeling like when you're listening to it, you can hear somebody tweaking stuff. The person making the music is having fun. You can feel that in the track and then they drop a beat. And as far as the audience knows, that's all that has to happen, okay? So when you're making tracks and you're feeling overwhelmed because there's so many plugins and so many things to automate, so many parameters, so many presets, you have five gigs of drum loops to go through and it's like way too much and you end up paralyzed, unable to make a decision because you have too many things to choose from, that's not what the audience wants. That's not where you should be. Uh, what I wanna do is remind you in this video that making electronic music starts from just simple sound design. In the beginning, people made tracks with a hardware synth and a drum machine and a tape recorder. And here's what they would do. They would press play on their sequencer, press start on the drum machine, get the loop going. Then they would go to the synth, tweak some filters, tweak some envelopes, tweak some LFOs or whatever, and record it to a tape deck. And that's where tracks came from. They didn't start from automation breakpoints in 96 channels of audio. And they didn't start from like multi-tracking everything and then editing it all around on a screen in a computer. That didn't happen at the beginning. The famous tracks that we know and love from the beginning of house music and techno came from people tweaking a synth, reacting like, oh my God, I can't believe that sound, making some crazy epic huge buildup and then dropping a beat. And as far as the audience knows, that's all that has to happen. Build a peak, drop a beat. That's electronic music for most of your audience. So I wanna just share that for you as an idea of um, how to detach, how to stop feeling paralyzed with analysis, how to stop feeling overwhelmed about like, oh, I have to do everything, it has to be perfect. It doesn't. Your music just needs to sound like somebody's having fun, tweaking sounds, and then you drop the beat. So um, I wanna keep this short and sweet and just give you some motivation to make some music. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about basically, there's, there's one thing that all tracks have in common. All great tracks are doing something that they have in common and all legendary amazing producers and bands for that matter, like they, they all do this one thing they have in common that you can do too, that you don't have to be famous or rich or whatever to do it. But to keep this short, I'll wait for the next video to tell you what all the great tracks have in common. For now, the message I want you to feel is you should be having fun making your music, tweaking some sounds to build a peak and drop a beat. That is the main thing you need to focus on at whatever level of music you're making. That's how you get people to listen to your music and love it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.